Hello again. Here we have a Tag Heuer Grand Carrera reference number WAV511A. This is a stainless steel model with the second wheel and the black dial. And here you can see the Grand Carrera synthetic wooden box. It's a very decent size, substantial feel. Two hinges on the back, and then a felt lining on the bottom. Opening it up, we have the synthetic leather with a perimeter stitched, and that is the Tacor booklet and manual cover as well as tag wire inscribed on the top. Now in here, we have the COSC certified booklet, which goes into detail about all of that, what it means, and everything like that in multiple different languages. Quite thin printed in Switzerland. Now here we have the Gran Carrera itself on a matching cream colored pillow. Just got extra links and pins down there. There's a deployant clasp. You can see at the bottom is the seconds wheel. The wheel behind or rather inside the semicircle and behind the red marker is what actually rotates. So you can see we have a very large face with a rather minimalist slim bezel, a black face, and a domed sapphire crystal with a countersunk date window at 3 o'clock applied indices, an implied Tag Heuer logo, and Gran Carrera inscribed at the top. And since we do not have a second hand here, it has a very simplistic design as far as the hand styles go. And they're not, they're not uh, burdened, I'll say with a counterweight on the opposite side of the hands. So very simplistic, very streamlined. It's a polished stainless steel. And then we have applied loom on the hands as well as behind each five minute marker around the perimeter of the watch. We have a polished bezel which continues around and we have a 1 16th inch bevel that is also polished which helps it very smoothly transition from the face of the crystal down the bezel and into the case and the sides of the case are brushed and then we have this nice accenting here which kind of helps to elongate the lugs and add to that curvature and bring the eye down and towards the bracelet. And that is a polished feature. And then the top of the lugs are brushed, which brings us into the bracelet, which is brushed stainless steel with polished alternating center links 
which are a little bit scuffed up right now, so there's not as much contrast as there would be, say, if the watch was brand new or has just been polished. And they do come in half lengths for more precise fitting and adjustment to your wrist. However, there is not any kind of micro adjustment on the clasp itself. Like I stated, the clasp is a deployant clasp, brushed with tag horror engraved on the top of the bezel, deployant with just these two buttons on the side. We have tag horror similarly engraved on the deployant arm. And this bracelet does also taper, which gives a nice look to the watch. I generally do prefer bracelets that taper. Just makes it just makes it look a little bit better. It melds into the wrist better, draws the eye down away from the face. It goes from 20 millimeters at the head of the watch down to 17 millimeters. And the bracelet reference is 3123. Three. Now, coming back to the face of the watch. We have these very nice applied indices, which go in sort of an arc on how they sit. So it catches the light, it kind of bounces off different aspects of it. And we also have this perimeter with the dial which has a brushed or ridged effect. Moving to the side, we have rather prominent crown guards with a screw down crown with the tag or logo. It has a quick set date, date function and a hacking seconds hand at the third pulled out position. At the first pulled out position it is winding clockwise and then it is disconnected counterclockwise. At the second is the rapid date correction and then at the third is the hour and minute setting. Going to the case back, we have an exposed exhibition case back through which you can see the balance wheel and other aspects which are <coughs> which are exposed or most of it is still just hidden. We have a large stainless steel rotor bi-directional winding You can see Grand Carrera engraved as well as tag wire in the middle. Two separate sapphire windows. And then six screws to secure the transparent case back to the case. You can see the reference of the watch there. WAV511A. Brushed. Links. and also has engraved Swiss made since 1860. And this is Tag Heuer's Caliber 6 movement which is based off of an ETA movement. 28,800 beats per hour.
However, you don't exactly get to see that since you have a second's wheel opposed to a second's hand. The watch case is 40.45 millimeters in diameter with just about a 12 and a half millimeter thick case, which includes a rather high domed sapphire that sticks out about one millimeter on top of the case. The looks are not very curved. They tend to stay horizontal with the case. However, it does still fit well on a wrist due to the rather smaller case size and the thinner aspects of the watch. This does have 10 bar water resistance, 100 meters. Very simplistic watch with the omission of a second's hand. However, once you really have a moment to look at it, the second's wheel is a rather unique feature. I also like that little hint of red in the second's wheel indicator, which is almost obscured by the hour hand at the moment. And go ahead and unscrew the crown and show you all. There it popped out to the first position, which would be winding uh, clockwise and then disconnected counterclockwise. That was the second, which is for the date. And then third, you'll see hacking seconds. There you can see the red hint. And the ridges that go around the perimeter of the dial. So there you have the Tag Heuer Grand Carrera Caliber 6 movement, reference number WAV511A. With its synthetic wooden box and the cream interior, as well as the little Tag Heuer. Booklet case.
Thank you all once again for watching.